first one. Now I need the distance uh, the target has traveled between the first and the last location. I read uh, 1.3 miles. Divided by 15 and multiplied by 60. Now I use my calculator. I get a speed of 5.2 knots. I can round to 5. At the same time, I can estimate the angle and bow. This is easy, since I have placed the boat uh, right angular to target's course. Merchant! So let's uh, set up the speed first. Because bearing is about uh, 310, I guess the angle and bow to about 40. Now I have all needed information and it's time to activate the position keeper. Basically it will anticipate bearing change. That is usually done by the periscope when aiming at the target visually. To improve the solution, I need to locate the target a couple more of times, but this time there is no need in more marks. I can send true bearing and range directly into position keeper by pushing a code button. The position one, keeper four, will automatically closing. update the firing solution based on new information. Merchant bearing three one five closing. Bearing three one six closing. Now let's take a look at my firing solution on TTC map. The white cross represents a target, the white line represents its course. The green line is a predicted torpedo run. I am not happy with angle and bow. It should be about 50 now. The position keeper has now updated solution with new angle. Now while the target is approaching a good firing angle, I have some time to update my solution with more fresh data. Merchant bearing 319 closing. Merchant bearing three two zero closing. Now it is time to set up the fish. Uh, I don't know much about the target, so I'm going to fire a salve of two in small spread, just to increase the hit chance in case the target is small. I can now disarm the bomb, sorry.
you can see uh, better how the solution develops in time compression. The optimal firing angle is almost reached. Now it's time for final solution update. 4, 1, constant distance! Merchant, bearing! 3, 4, 2, constant distance! Merchant, bearing! 3, 4, 3, constant distance! Merchant, bearing! 3, 4, 4, constant distance! Merchant, bearing! 3, 4, 5, constant distance! Now it's time to fire the fish. I will set uh, the first torpedo a little bit to the left. And fire. And uh, the second torpedo a little bit to the right. And fire. And uh, now we can... Uh, Watch the show and Merchant, see bearing, three, if I can hit five, three, anything actually. Distance. This is the second one. And Merchant, this is the first bearing, one. Three, five, four, constant distance. Merchant, bearing, three, second five, one again. Five, constant distance. Merchant, bearing, three, five, six, constant distance. I'm going to follow this one just in case. Merchant, this is the second bearing, one. Three, five, seven, constant distance. Ah, look, there she is. And the first impact. And the second one looks good too. Merchant, bearing, three, five, eight, constant distance. Torpedo and the impact. second one. Merchant, bearing, three, five, nine. Now, uh, well, distance. I hope you have uh, enjoyed Merchant, the tutorial bearing, and zero. I wish constant you good distance. Bye bye.